bold, inventive, and incisively funny. Uh, that's what Rolling Stone said about her, and I think I agree. Please give it up for the boldly funny Sandra Bernhardt. <laughs> Baby. Mm -hmm. A little tribute to Sammy. Yeah. The yeah. man. We miss Sammy. And, you know, you got it going on with that, uh, that. Da gorgeous. A <laughs> da lovely. A da lifeful. <laughs> da irritating. A da groovy. A da grating. <laughs> I'm working my last nerve. <laughs> No, okay, we're into music now. Let's talk about Sinead. I talked about the situation that was in the paper. I know you wrote a letter to Frank and Sinead right. when they had problems. Well, I was concerned about both of them. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I heard um, Prince uh, beat up Sinead or something. Yeah, well, she said that he... But well, that's what she said. I, I haven't talked to Prince Couldn't yet. Couldn't be happier. <laughs> Prince is back and better than ever and kicking Sinead's butt. <laughs> What do you think of her stance? Freaky cue ball, freaky. <laughs> what do I think of her stance? Yeah. Which one? Uh, <laughs> well, the latest one the with the Grammys. The lions will lay down with the lambs. What did she do with the Grammys? Uh, well, she's not going to accept one and she's not going to go. Oh, good. Well, then she won't get one. <laughs> Simple as that. I don't get it with the uh, Shinady. <laughs> She's so pretty with some hair and with a wig. Throw a wig on her and just... Yeah, she did put on a blonde Send her wig. home. She's so miserable here. I don't know why she wants to stay. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Sinead. I'll go to Ireland and make as much money as you're making here, and I'll be real happy. <laughs> a lot of letters. You wrote a letter to Coppola's... Uh... Take a letter, Maria! <laughs> Address it to my wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I read a lot of letters, too. <laughs> what's this girl, the girl that they were dogging so bad from Godfather? Coppola's... Oh, uh... oh, yeah. Um, Sofa. Sophia. Sophia. Yeah. She yeah. was very good in the movie. I thought she was very real and touching. And so you wrote her to tell her? No, I wouldn't oh. go that far. Oh. <laughs> I'll just tell her here tonight, in an open letter to Sofia Coppola, you were brilliant, love you, gotta run. <laughs> it's just, she was good, though. She was, yeah. she was charming. So you didn't really write her a letter? Who told you I wrote her a letter? I read somebody said you wrote her a letter to tell her that not to, not to mind the critics, she did a good job. But, you know, sometimes... Oh, honey, I'm not gonna kiss everybody's butt. I'm too busy for that, you know? <laughs> God knows I'd love to. If I'm gonna get something out of it personally, that may be a part in Coppola's next film. God forbid! <laughs> you don't have time. You see Coppola knocking down my door for Godfather 800. <laughs> you don't have time. You're an innovator. You're a leader. Yeah. As a matter of fact, and maddening at times. Well, yeah. <laughs> you know what? You wore a dress here yeah. uh, last time you right. were here, and they made a big the fuss. The booty dress, the onion dress. The, oh, onion feel, baby. It was, <laughs> it was kicking. Uh, and then Andy McDowell wore the dress. Oh, I know. And everybody was talking about she it. She called said, me. She said, honey, can I borrow that dress? <laughs> I said, I'll give it to you. Why were they making such a fuss over her when it didn't make see you wear it? That's when it was worn. Were they making a fuss over her? Yeah, and everybody, it was, in the, it was in the LA Times. They showed her turn around with it. And she has no onion, so it was not happening, you know. <laughs> Well, that's one thing, Sandra. Well, I can't, I can't love everybody's onion, but Sandra, Sandra has onion and lips, and everyone knows that. And Onions. Oh yes. <laughs> a combination. Yes, they didn't get indeed. It. You have great lips. Yeah, we've discussed these lips until the cows came home and mm. left again, honey. Yeah, and and every time <laughs> I see a cow, me. I'm gonna mention those. You got great lips, and I'm I'm into lips. I know you are. <laughs> are you into, darling? Mm. <clears throat> I'm, I'm in... You keep that private life super tight. <laughs> well, I don't mind telling people I'm into yours. Yeah? I'm into your lips. And I like them because you're the first white woman to have them That's without right. going to a doctor. Let's not forget that. <laughs> you got it, baby. That's important to me. Everything's real. 
including the hair color, and I can prove it to you, but later. <laughs> Well. Mm, mm. Um, let's see. Let's move on to another subject. I... Why? It's our favorite subject. You know, every comic has gone to a veteran or a legend and asked for advice. I've gone to Cosby and Pryor and different people. That's your problem. <laughs> That's where it all went bad, Arsenio. Uh, you went to Joan Rivers once and she told you to get a nose job? No, I didn't go to her personally, mm -hmm. um, but I heard through the grapevine that she said I wasn't going to make it in the business without a nose job. And so far, she's been right. So maybe I should finally just break down and do it. <laughs> no, I had a toe job, but not... Somebody me gave see. me a toe job. Never mind. It's a little too funny. Ooh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't into my toe. Oh, this no, is getting no, I, nasty. Ooh. I just wanted to, I wanted to check him out. Um, <laughs> Are you a toe freak? I like feet. I, I think a woman with pretty feet... Uh, you see, I don't really love my feet because I, I don't have a high enough arch. You know, I like a woman with a real high arch. And what like, does that do? What does that create? I don't know. It's just a sexier look. So you got to always wear a heel and work it and kind of walk around like this, like that all the time. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't complain about anything on my body because God will punish you. Okay, we got to do the song? You're doing a song when we come back, right? Yes, I am. And a serious song. Well, it's up to the audience and... <laughs> <laughs> No, I'll... it's from my heart. Okay, I'll let you Can't tell him. Can I say that again? From my heart? What, what was that? <laughs> that was insane. That was sick. I'll let you tell him what it's all about. Yeah, we'll be right back. Thank you. With Sandra Byrne. <laughs> 